Hi there, we're here in the Anacolic Chamber again with Andrew Welker from Axiom, and he's going to explain the challenges that happen when you design an in-wall speaker instead of a regular standalone speaker. Well, the, uh, the biggest challenge with an in-wall speaker is the fact that you're mounting it in a wall, which is not an ideal place for, for a speaker. Um, the challenge uh, involved in designing an in-wall speaker for that application is Firstly, most homes in North America uh, are built with standard 2x4 studded walls, so you've got a very shallow opening um, that you have available to mount the speaker. The problem with that is that all else being equal, the more cabinet volume or more space you have inside the speaker, the more bass that you can get out of it, particularly extension at the lower frequencies. So you're limited um, in the amount of space that you can actually use up because of that standard 2x4 studding. And as an example here, we've got two speakers which are essentially identical models. One is the T2 in-wall, the other is our M2 bookshelf speaker. And if I turn them sideways, you can see the T2 in-wall is a tiny, tiny little cabinet. It's probably got less than one-third the internal cabinet volume of the M2. So that would lead you to believe that an in-wall speaker such as this would have no base. The benefit of having the wall is that the wall boundary itself that's going to surround all the sides of the speaker help to increase the amount of base that you get from the speaker. It's called the boundary loading effect. And as long as we design the in-wall speaker in that boundary, we can now get a smooth balance and we can get good low frequency response. And we're standing inside an anechoic chamber and we actually use a false wall uh, which we mount the in-wall speaker into so that we can get an idea of what the typical boundary loading is going to be. Now you're still not going to get as much bass out of an in-wall as you would the uh, equivalent bookshelf model. But when you blend that system with a subwoofer, it's going to give you performance that's pretty much identical to what you would get with a pair of the bookshelf speakers with that subwoofer. So that's really the biggest challenge is that we don't have a lot of uh, mounting space available when designing an in-wall product. Thanks, Andrew.